Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a American Girl doll pizza and I just did how to make a American Girl doll doll bed so check that video out and that's actually what the cardboard that I'm going to be using is from so yeah, so that's what's down to the material so first you'll be needing cardboard and this actually got cut a little bit but that's okay so you don't, so I'm using the cardboard from the, the American Girl box because it's like really thin easy to cut yeah then you'll be needing a glue stick and scissors well glue and scissors you'll also be needing paper so brown for the crust yellow for the cheese and then whatever colors you want for the toppings i'm just doing red for pepperoni but yeah and then you might want a marker for like drawing and everything so First thing you're going to want to do is draw your circle, or just cut it. I actually had a circle drawn because I was trying to make this video, and then like I like the camera just stopped to fix it, but I actually already started cutting, so that's okay. So I'm just going to so draw your circle, and then cut it out, and then I actually have my doll right next to me. So I'm going to use her for size, but you don't have to, you can just use this to make. So I'm going to trim it up because I actually made it too big, but when I'm drawing stuff to cut out, I usually make it big so that I can like trim it whenever I'm done cutting. And background noise is my family, so I'm sorry. Because they're kind of being loud right now. I think I made mine too small. Not too bad. I think I'm gonna leave mine like this. It might be it might not be the best size. Maybe a little bit too big, but that's okay. So here's mine. You can make her smaller. But yeah. So yeah. So after you cut your circle out, if I like after you cut your circle out, you're gonna wanna take your paper and put it um Take your brown paper and then cut out the circle the same size and then glue it on. And glue it on both sides so that if your pizza gets turned over, like there's no words or like things. So I'm gonna fold mine and hope that my circle would fit in. And fold it in here. Again, background noise is my family because I don't know if you can hear that, but um my sister. Kind of right so now I'm just gonna cut it out. There we go. So, whoa. Sorry. I got both my circles cut out. And then you're just going to want to take your glue and glue them on. So then you're just going to glue both the circles on both sides. There we go. Did it the wrong way. So there we go. Squeeze the glue. Drag it. So you're just gonna wanna glue it on. Sorry, it's taking me a second. Um, I was fixing my glue stick. There we go. So 
So just put it on. Then then you're just gonna wanna glue it on the other side. So yeah, then you're gonna wanna take your yellow paper and my glue stick actually just broke and I left my spare one at my school because I took it to school. I left my other ones at my school, so I'm actually just gonna do my best and just like place it. So and I'm not gonna be doing the pepperonis because I I already made a pizza with pepperoni, so I'm just gonna be doing plain cheese this time. So then you're gonna wanna be taking your pizza and cutting out a circle the same exact size again. And like I said, I'm not really going to be gluing it because when I was gluing it, um, like, my glue stick part, the middle of it, first of all, it, like, got dried out. Second of all, it fell out and it wasn't staying. So, that's why it was taking me a second because I was trying to make it work, but it wasn't. And then you just, so after you cut out your yellow circle, you're going to want to cut it smaller so that you can actually see some of the cut. I'm just gonna stir it in. And you can show as much crust as you want. So I'm like starting to cut more in. There we go. So that's how mine looks. And like I said, I'm not going to be doing it because it got messed up. And I think I actually might add pepperonis, but I don't know. So yeah. And then, so this last part is optional. So if you want your pizza to be separate slices, then you can do this. If you just want it to be a whole pizza, then you're done. But, so, you're just going to want to Take your pizza, well take your marker, and split your pizza in half, and then split it into four, then split the fourths, bleh, split the fourths in half to make eight. So there is one, and then you're just gonna want to cut it. And I probably shouldn't use pen because it just already probably in there. So then you're just gonna want to cut those slices out. slices out and you can add as much toppings as you want but like you would have added the toppings whenever you added the cheese but you can add them separately too like after you cut the pieces you can add the toppings that probably is but but yeah since I didn't add any toppings because I had made a pizza the same way before I had a YouTube channel it was like um, a week before or something so yeah Oh, that looks weird. I didn't, like, cut the middle. Okay, so then you're just going to want to finish cutting because I did not cut all the way.
So just cut all the way, and then you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.